Well, I'm going to do my first review of a banjo for, uh, or a review of a banjo maker, or a review of a brand of banjo for my YouTube channel here. And what I have are three Rough Alley banjos. Um, the first one is a Rough Alley, and it's not marked for any any particular serial number, but uh, when I bought it, my dad uh, pressed uh, the maker Richard Newman for you know some sort of number in in sequence of what it was, and he said this was about number eight. So this is an 11 inch rim with a holophonic uh, rim, um, which is hollow, and uh, it's got a simple brass tone ring, thin tone ring around the outer edge of the banjo. Uh, so, and it's also set up with a uh, skin head on the banjo. And another thing that it, uh, we can look at here is, uh, here's, this one is uh, Rough Alley number 18. This was uh, built in uh, December of 1980. This has uh, the 11-inch rim and it has the white lady tone ring on it and um, it also has an early early brand of or an, an early fiber skin head it's called the Remo fiber skin brand made in USA and um, if you look closely at it it looks almost like a burlap weave on top of the plastic and on the inside the plastic is um, just plain smooth plastic and they're colored something like the uh, Renaissance heads that have been popping up in the last few years is uh, kind of popular. And then this guy here, which is the um, number 1202, built in June of 2010, the Rough Alley Banjo. This one is a 12 inch rim. Um, holophonic rim and it's got uh, what I believe is Renaissance style head it's not marked but it's uh, the plastic head that uh, really resembles the ones that I'm used to seeing called Renaissance heads so it's not like ex not exactly like I'm comparing apples to apples here because uh, two of the banjos are stuffed one is unstuffed the uh, Two with the plastic heads have uh, got uh, stuffing in them, and the one that's uh, skin head does not have stuffing in it. Um, so let's see. So, oh, and when was this? Uh, the the number eight was built sometime, you know, prior to or during the summer of 1975. And I just love these banjos, the, the Rough Alley banjos. Uh, I've been playing one since 1975, and just uh, absolutely, you know, you play a rough alley, and you never go back. So, here is the white lady, and I'm going to play a, uh, a set of tunes on each banjo, the same set of tunes. Um, and this is, it starts out with Pretty Little Indian, goes to the Wedding Reel, and then goes to Real do Six Nations, and uh, like to call this set the French and Indian Wedding set.
So there, with all the brightness of the white lady, but still the sweetness of the rough alley sound. There is just definitely something sweet sounding about uh, these three banjos, and I would assume the rest of them too. I've heard a couple others, and uh, they are just a, a sweet sounding group of banjos. So here is the Rough Alley number 8 from 1975 and it is set up with a, a skin head and no stuffing but there is a uh, world brand open back style uh, pickup in it so that's going to affect the sound some. So here is the same set, the French and Indian wedding set.
these uh, holophonic rims have quite a lot of bass and are quite a lot of low end compared to the uh, compared to the white lady rims. They just you know blow the white lady rims away on the low end. And uh, here is the 12 inch holophonic rim. And that will have the same set plate on it. That's kind of a dead fifth string. Or there's something where some something somewhere along the line that's that's making it sound a bit uh, deadened. It's hard to tune. Oh, anyway, um, here it is. The Pretty Little Indian, um, the wedding reel, and reel do six nations.
you can judge for yourself on the sound. I hope I hope the playing did them some justice.